All right, so you're probably getting started in DLGs, you're doing some research, and you've come across the term layup, but it's not entirely obvious what a layup means. Essentially, a layup describes what materials were used for that particular model or option. In this video, we're gonna go over some different layups available in the past, uh, what we have available right now for the current Deviant one meter DLG that we produce, as well as the BAMF2 full size one and a half meter DLG that we produce, as well as our recommendations for newcomers uh, with the Deviant. Before we continue, please like this video, subscribe to our channel. We're working hard to get more content like this out for you guys. In the past, the ultralight carbon fabrics weren't available yet, so there were actually a lot more layups back then to try to achieve similar things as what we're doing right now. So the most basic layup is going to be the full fiberglass layup wings. Essentially, they're going to be the lightest and cheapest, but they're quite soft. Now, the next in line is going to be the dicer wings. Essentially, they're full fiberglass wings as well, but there's going to be a carbon crisscross that helps improve the torsional stiffness. Now, if you're a stronger launcher and a dicer wing is not quite enough to handle your launches, then you're going to be looking at a D-box wing. Essentially, the front one third of the wing is going to be full carbon and then behind that is going to be fiberglass. There is another option that's going to be called the D-Box Dicer. So as you can guess, it's a D-Box, but with Dicer behind the D-Box. So that's going to be very stiff. At the same time, it's not going to be too heavy. So that was probably one of the most popular layups. Now, if D-Box Dicer was still not stiff enough for you, or if you just wanted something a little bit heavier for really windy conditions, you could get a full carbon wing. Then full carbon wings were mostly made out of 80 gram per square meter fabric. So they were going to be a little bit heavier. One more thing to keep in mind back then, almost all the wings were hollow molded. So think of it like an eggshell. So very, very fragile, hard to repair, okay? Now in the last few years, quite a bit of improvement in terms of processes and materials. So let's talk process real quick. Right now, all of these wings, solid core. So it's gonna be made from a solid chunk of foam, usually Rohacel. We CNC mill it and then put the entire core into the molds when we're making. So it's going to be stiffer for the same weight of a hollow core molded wing, and it's going to be much easier to repair. The second part is material. And of course, now we have access to carbon weave, which is a very lightweight spread to carbon fabric. So all of our models are full carbon right now, just using different weights of carbon for the different weights of the model. So for the deviant, let's start with that deviant. We have three basic layups. We have the light, which is CW 20. So 20 gram per square meter carbon weave. We have the standard, which is CW30, so it's going to be a better all-round model. It has a stiffer spar, the wing is a little bit more ding resistant. And then we have the strong layup, which uses carbon weave CW40, as you can guess, 40 grams per square meter, and of course a bigger spar as well. Now, if you're not familiar with the Deviant, really big wing, biggest one meter wing you can get out there right now. So it has a very low wing loading to begin with. And because of that, we usually recommend people to start out with a strong layup for the Deviants. You're not really going to notice that few extra grams of weight, but it is going to make it a little bit better in terms of hanger rash resistance. It's a little bit more durable and it will calm down the plane a little bit more in turbulence. Now, speaking of turbulence, let's talk ballast. So you put ballast into a DLG to make it penetrate better. You know, it's going to be a little bit more stable when it's windy or turbulent. For the Deviants, you can safely put in 100 grams or more in any of our layups and throw it as hard as you want. Not going to be an issue. Next, let's talk real quick about the BAMF 2s. So in terms of BAMF 2s, very similar to the Deviants, we're going to have three basic layups. So the light, standard, and strong as well. Now, of course, the difference being the light is now CW30, standard is CW40 with a little bit extra spar, and strong is CW60, which is a 60 gram fabric and also a bigger spar. The second thing you'll notice is it's a two piece wing. So there's gonna be a joiner involved, right? The joiner is what's gonna keep the left and right wing together when you assemble it and put the plane together. So for the light and standard layups, same joiner. For the strong layup, it's gonna be a double carbon joiner, so a little bit stronger. In terms of ballast, if you're a very good launcher, let's say you're throwing 70 meters or more, for the light layup, I would limit it to about 50 grams of ballast, standard, let's say 100 grams, and strong about 140, 160 grams. Now, there are some guys using the BAMF 2s who are absolute monsters launching these, you know, 85, 90 meters or more. For those, for very windy conditions, we have what's called the super strong, 
and that is basically the strong layup with a lot of extra spar. So that's going to be really good for those kind of pilots. We also have another special series, which is called the Ultra High Modulus series. So it's going to be about the same weight as our regular light standard strong layups, except it's going to be stiffer with Ultra High Modulus carbon. All right, so we have the UMS CW29. That's going to be somewhat equivalent to the light layup in terms of weight. We have the UMS CW39, the UMS CW53, and we also have a D-Box version. Essentially, UMS CW53 for the D-Box part, and then UMS CW29 for the areas behind that. Now, the Ultra High Modulus series and the Super Strong layups, these are special layups, so that we don't usually stock them. But send us an email if you're looking for one of those, and we will gladly make it for you. Hopefully you learned something in this video today. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and we'll see you in our next video.